was known from times ancient for a hill whose name it inherited. A hill that can cleanse a man's soul. The Valley of Tiruvallamala. Upon that hill, engulfed in ages of history, is an ancient temple. The Sri Vilvadrinatha Temple. A prayer on the rocks. A valley of lives and the leaves thriving on it. Inside the hill, there lies an ancient path for mortals to take, to liberate one's soul from the weight of its sins. Punarjani, to be born again. The waters of Nila drew artists from afar to sit beside her and make magic. The finest porters settled close to her. Their wheels spinned. The earth turned. From their hands rose shapes no mortal had seen before. The wonder weavers from Mysore settled when Nila bore her child to weave the finest fabric that can turn a commoner a king. For centuries their fingers moved and moved at Kutambuli to the same rhythm of their forefathers. Travellers that walked the length of her shores with puppets that tell tales of valor, of love, of battle, puppets of Kathakali, Bhavak Kathakali, from door to door, village to village, called the valley their home. Men who sang got to sleep, woke him up from a slumber to the beat of the Idaka, a soul soft in music, eyes, a deep well of devotion. Each brought a new flavor an offering for the Lord upon the hill. Each spoke a different tongue. Each carries a different tradition. But all embrace the valley as their own, a kaleidoscope of cultures, mothered in arms of Nila, isolated from the world for centuries, drenched in her lullabies and lures, Listen closely. Can you hear them whisper?